Good morning. We understand that this is where it all ended when the suspect shot and killed himself. We are in the neighborhood of Orange, right on the border of Villa Park. But I have to tell you, we were just walking distance from at least two different schools. So it's very much a quiet neighborhood until this morning. But you can see behind me, there's now a line of cars blocking our view from the suspect. His body is in the middle of that intersection there. Uh, we are at Wanda and Villa Park. Now, this all started just before 5.30 this morning. Uh, there, there was a report in Ladera Ranch. We have a, a map to show you where that is. It's south um, on the 5, south of Mission Viejo. But we do believe that the shooting sp spree basically moved up the 55 freeway. We also have a map to show you that where it hit Tustin Orange and then Villa Park. As you said, we are talking about several entities investigating multiple shootings, this shooting spree that has left um, a string of victims, including fatalities. Here's what we know. So it, it did finally end here in the city of Orange at Villa Park in Wanda with the suspect shooting and killing himself in the middle of that intersection. There's also another scene near the intersection of Del Amo and Edinger. Now, investigators believe that that was a carjacking that also turned deadly. The crime scene is behind an electronics store where one person was shot to death. Another shooting victim was transported to the hospital. Then there's now, we understand, a murder scene um, on the southbound 55 freeway at McFadden where shots were fired during another carjacking that turned deadly. One person confirmed dead in that location. Traffic wise, that area will be a nightmare for sure. So you want to stay away from that area off of the 55. Now there's another scene at the gas station in Tustin at Red Hill, a reported carjacking there as well. One person was shot. We do not have any details about the condition of that victim, but witnesses did report seeing the suspect with two large guns. Uh, and there's also a black SUV on scene at that shooting location. Uh, now we want to go live to Sky 5. You can see an image there off of the 55 freeway at McFadden, possibly there at Village. Again, that's where we understand that another person was carjacked and that person was reported to be killed during that carjacking that turned violent. Uh, the suspect then got away. So it appears that this suspect came, came from Ladera Ranch all the way north up the 5 freeway, up the 55, and as he went along trying to carjack people and shooting people, people he left um, you know the, the the victims in his in his path let's go live now to Mark Kono in Sky 5 with the latest from there Mark that's right, Lynette. What a difference some daylight makes here, right? Uh, we, uh, Sky 5 HD, first overhead about three hours ago, right at the conclusion of all of this mess here. Now, this is in Tustin. What you're looking at there is the southbound 55 McFadden off-ramp here, right where McFadden meets Tustin Village Way. Now, uh, again, this was the first scene that we came upon uh, shortly after 5.30 this morning, but now with the daylight, uh, we actually see a body right, uh, right there next to the on-ramp of uh, the McFadden southbound 5. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, one of several scenes that we have been covering for you all morning long. And this uh, certainly is going to be a nightmare, as uh, Lynette was referring to, in terms of traffic here. McFadden is going to be closed, southbound uh, on-ramp, as well as the southbound off-ramp here in Tustin. Guys? And actually, I'll take it from here, Mark. I